All right, going to be going through Barksdale code. Fans of the Wire will appreciate this one. For those who haven't seen the show, the Barksdale organization is a simple method for encoding telephone numbers exchanged via pagers. Jump to the other side of the five on the keypad and swap fives and zeros. Here's a keypad for visualization. Detective, we're hot on their trail. We have a big pile of encoded numbers here to use as evidence, but it would take way too long to decode by hand. Can you write a program to do this for us? Write a program function called uh, decode, given an encoded string, return the actual phone number in string form. Don't worry about input validation, parentheses or hyphens. Um, so I'm gonna use this as my test case. So four is right here. Jumping to five, we're at a six. One, jumping to five, we're at a nine. Um, zero and five swap. Um, all right, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this without like hard coding all the examples, but um, one, nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, six, six, four. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the best way to do this off the top of my head. We're I'm just going to play around with it. So variable is called string. That's not it. That's my zoom link. Um, here's my string to test. Um, so for num in string, print num. I'm gonna call this new or encoded string. Um, and I can't think of a better way to do this. And so just to start, I'm just gonna start doing a bunch of conditional statements. If num equals zero encoded string plus equals, and it is five. Um, LF num equals one encoded string plus equals nine. Huh. LF num equals two encoded <laughs> string plus equals believe eight and three and seven and four and six. Three and encoded string equals seven. LF num equals four encoded string plus equals six. And then LF num equals five encoded string plus equals zero. Um, so I knew, I was thinking I was gonna have to do this. I was trying to think of a way to do the opposite. Um, so if it's, I'm, since I already have this written, I, I know there's a way to do this. I guess my mind is just going blank today. Um, and that's all right, is what I'm gonna tell myself. Um, LF encoded string equals Six or less than up now. Encoded string plus equals four. LF num equals seven. Encoded string plus equals four or three. LF num equals eight encoded string plus equals two. And then finally, um, LF num equals nine encoded E 
and C O D. This, I don't know if I misspelled this one. Yeah, I did. Um, string plus equal one, and then encoded string six nine five seven eight seven. So then, yeah, that looks like it's right. Um, so let's try it. It's a nasty looking code, but when I say nasty, it's not very efficient. In, and so return encoded string. But it does give you the right results. So um, I know there's a better way to do this, and I'm going to be frustrated once I see this um, unlock solutions. So submit it. Oh man, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, geez. Um, this would be a better way to do this. Um, Yeah, so so we have this translation. Um, and if I do integer, like let's say I have character zero or, or five. Oh, what did I do wrong? Um, oh, this needs to be regular parentheses. Um, uh, no, I don't need that. So then it five translates to zero, one translates to nine. Um, so yeah, this would this is a much much more efficient code than this uh, <laughs> multiple conditional statements. But um, I think that's a big thing. Like when it, when you're in a coding interview, you can't always think about like the most efficient way in the moment. Um, sometimes it's better to just come up with a solution and then kind of think about it some more. So that's my solution. Um, you know, I would encourage, try, try playing around with some of these different ones um, and kind of give it a try. Thank you.